What's up guys, Big Papa Drock back with another Raid Shadow Legends video and guys, wow, what a week it has been. I'm sure by now you have seen the incredible CVC that just took place between my clan, IPR, and gods and legends and oh my god, what an insane CVC that it was. So I wanted to do a quick little video on it to talk about what it was like um, to kind of dispel some myths, I think, about CVCs like this, because obviously this was a record-breaking CVC, the likes of which has never been seen before. If you didn't see the score, here it is right now, 168 million points for IPR versus 153 million points for Gods and Legends. Good, sweet Christ. I think we can all agree, though IPR may have won this CVC, Plarium certainly won overall uh because god knows the amount of resources that went into this was insane so let's just take a quick look first and foremost of what the scores were um so obviously we've got those main scores here we can take a look at the member scores aka everybody that participated uh, let me see if i can uh, let me just slide over here ah uh, well we'll just figure it out all right at the top holy christ 19.5 million from timo this is insane that is also another record no one has ever done that much um, I believe he held the record previous to this, which was like 15 million, which is also absolutely mind boggling. You got to tip your cat to Timo. I mean, that is, I don't even know how you frankly do that. Uh, well, I know, but you have to have insane amounts of resources. And then you can see a bunch of massive scores. And then me down here with 3.6 million. So really just slacking, right? With a 3.6 million, uh, but which was good for 20th, you know, 20th place in the clan. And hey, I'm not the Kraken that I used to be or that I really thought I was. I think that's the big thing that I learned from this is, my God, there are just people out there that have a different level than I ever did. Um, so I'm pretty happy with 3.6 3 million, which obviously was a, a, you know, a really solid score. That's the highest I've ever put up. I think prior to this, my highest was a little over 1 million. Hey, 3.6, not bad. So yeah, let's first for, foremost talk about why people do this, right? Because I think that's the big thing that I've seen. Like there's been videos made by other creators talking about, oh, people spent 100, 200, 300,000 dollars, or, you know, what's the point? You only get personal rewards and they're really not that good. They don't get any better. And it's a reaction gear. It's not even stone skin gear, right? Well, look, the point is bragging rights, guys. With any kind of PvP thing in any kind of game, there's always going to be someone that wants to be the best. And, you know, that's really what drives this kind of stuff. So why did we do it? We did it to be the best. We did it to win. Um, it's not because the rewards were great. Like, we don't need that. It's not a huge deal to us whatsoever. People have plenty of reaction accessories at this point. It was simply for bragging rights. And we knew coming into this that this was going to be an absolutely insane CVC. We prepped for it. We talked about it as a clan. And the other thing, too, is it was fun. It was stressful. It was crazy. Everyone was putting forth tons of effort um, in order to make this happen. So I think that's the other thing, right? Games are supposed to be fun. Now, you can debate, like, is spending a shit ton of money your version of fun? Probably not. And frankly, that's a good thing, right? Save your money whenever you can. But if you have money to burn and you, and you enjoy this kind of stuff and it's your PvP clan, by all means, go for it. Hey, you know what? The, that money goes to pay people's salaries. That's great. It goes back in the ecosystem. So that's the why, right? Now let's talk about, I think, again, misconceptions around what it costs to do this because I've seen a lot of different numbers floated and they're wildly inaccurate. So let's look, for example, at my score, which is 3.6 million. Um, first and foremost, you can score way more points in CVC using energy than people realize. And energy doesn't have to be the most expensive thing that you're purchasing in this game, right? I actually did the math on this and they had packs available. I think they were offering around 18,000 energy, somewhere in that neighborhood for like $70 a pack, right? So not the best value for energy, but not a you know bad value either. Um, basically, in order to put up 1 million points in a CVC, so if you're looking to put up 1 million points, you can run essentially one of three dungeons to be the absolute fastest. You can do Sand Devils, you can do Shoguns, or you can do Spider's Den. I did all three, I did a ton of all three. Um, and we'll go and look at the resources I have left as well. Like you'll see, I actually have decent amount of energy. That's because Plarium initiated that, um, 
that maintenance thing that took me off of my RSL helper stuff. So it just stopped in the middle of the night while I was asleep because obviously timing wise, all of this stuff happens at the worst possible time for East Coast America. So Plarium, be really nice if you actually gave a shit and changed things in that regard. But hey, what am I talking about? Why would you change anything when you just made a bunch of money off of us, right? Anyway, so Sand Devil, Spider's Den, Phantom Shogun Grove, right? They all give the same 800 points for a super raid, right? So if you go in here and you do a super raid on stage 25, that is 40 energy, um, and that gives you 800 points. So if you do the math, it's gonna take you 50,000 energy to put up a million points solely running Sand Devils or Shoguns or Spiders. So 50,000 energy sounds like a lot, um, and it is, don't get me wrong, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not a super expensive resource to typically get as long as Plarium gives you good packs. A lot of things that have been happening recently is Plarium has been putting shit like this out, which is just horrible. Like the value here is bad, in my opinion. Like they, they've been putting out packs left and right in the last like four or five months meant to just really test how much they can screw people over. And I'm gonna do a whole nother video on this. So, you know, rest assured, we're gonna talk about it. But typically energy wise, you're looking for like around, I think it's like 280, 300 energy per dollar is kind of the, the golden standard of a good pack. And they had like a friendship pack that gave 18,000 energy. And so I bought all four and that was, I think 200, like around 250 bucks. And that was in the neighborhood of 72,000 energy. So there's a million points right there, right? Then you go into your tavern. Now you can tell I have got basically no books left. I'm down to eight epic books, 22 rare books. But when CDC started, I had 190 epic books and about 150, 60 rare books, and then another 30 or 40 or so legendary books. So I had a decent amount of books saved up and a couple of mythical books as well. I used them all. Um, I used all of them with the exception of what the little amount of books you see left here. Um, so look, that's a massive amount of points, right? This is the stuff where it's definitely like, that's where you're spending your money. If you're spending your money to do CVC, it's on stuff like this. And this is where it could hypothetically cost you thousands of dollars to get tons of books for sure. But for the, for the quote unquote average whale Kraken, you don't necessarily have to spend a massive amount of money or at least not as much as people think where they're like, oh, someone has spent five or 10 K on this CVC. Well, not necessarily. You can put up massive point scores if you're just using energy. Uh, and again, energy tends to be cheaper than other stuff, especially if you've had stuff saved up, which many people coming to this thing have 100K energy or have 200K energy or something absurd. I didn't, but you know, just, just so you know. Now that's to get to scores like 3.6 million, which for most people is like, what in the world? That's an insane score. It is a very different story when you start talking about these scores up here anything 10 million and up yeah you're definitely putting in some serious serious resources both energy as well as books as well as upgrading champions forge stuff um i mean like that would cost significantly significantly more in order to do this but again you could still do it hypothetically with predominantly energy um but this kind of stuff you definitely have to be throwing in books to get to that level at at the very end also, the other big thing here too is forge, right? I was forging like a crazy person. I was forging left and right as many things as I could. I had like over a thousand of everything down here and now I'm down to 600, 400, 700. I was forging, I was selling. You also get a lot of points, people forget this, for upgrading items. So I was upgrading items. Um, you'll notice I haven't upgraded on my, my speed stuff yet because I have to do a video on this and I wasn't able to do it last night. Um, and uh, I was going to do it until I realized we were gonna win and then I was okay. But basically you're upgrading items as well, which gives lots of points and you're ascending them, which gives lots of points as well. So there's there's a really common misconception that this is like guaranteed $100,000 spend per clan. And like, I'm just telling you right now, that's not accurate. Like it really is not accurate. Um, and it's just, it does not, does not compute with what actually happens in these things. Um, and again, like this is an insane score, right? This is an insane, insane, insane score. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if you're looking at the total cost of everything that you've done, you know, if you were buying it all right now, sure, maybe I could see it being more than 100K. But keep in mind, this is resources collected over, in some cases, months, in some cases, years. Some of those resources are free. 
some of those resources you get from all different sorts of stuff. Um, so it's very tough to pin down like a specific cost to do this stuff. All I can tell you is if you're putting up big boy points, yeah, you're definitely spending money to hit this kind of stuff. You're not hitting almost 20 million without shelling out a decent amount of cash to get books uh, and to get other stuff beyond just energy. But again, for me, I did what? 3.6 million. I spent a couple hundred dollars, maybe 500, 500, 600 bucks in total. If I'm, if I'm really thinking about it, all the energy, everything I bought, less than that. I think that, I think that might even be high, frankly. Um, so maybe 300, 400 bucks. Uh, but it's, it's, you can put up a pretty large score nowadays in these things just through dungeons. Um, but yeah, you know, it was a lot of fun. It was crazy. It was completely unnecessary, as you can tell, as you can probably guess. And I'm sure lots of people have opinions on it as anyone would, right? Like who the fuck spends this kind of money on Raid Shadow Legends? Well, the answer is a lot of people do. A lot of people spend this kind of money on Raid Shadow Legends, uh, whether they realize it or not. And that's a whole different conversation, but hey, we won. It was crazy. Would I ever want to do this again? Probably not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like probably not. Like this, this level of just absolute grinding was insane. Uh, cause again, I've dumped every resource I had pretty much into the stuff. I've got a decent amount of energy left. I was at like 10, 11, 12,000 gems that all disappeared, uh, which was rough. Um, you know, I tried to do as much as I possibly could. I even pulled a decent amount of shards as well. So just anywhere I could get points, I was looking to get them, but for sure the majority of my points, and I think the majority of the points that you see there without a doubt came from running, uh, Sand Devils, Phantom Shogun, and Spider's Den. And I, and like you can, I was, you can see like the stuff, like the Ascension stuff. I think I still have a pretty decent, yeah, like 206,000 small ones here. And I used a ton of this when I was doing, I was up to 350 Chaos Dust last night and 200 something odd, like whatever the hell this is called, Chaos Ore. What was I up to here? Yeah, I was at 250 Chaos Powder. Um, so I was just going absolutely ham on this stuff. But anyway, I wanted to give some context to this because I know a lot of people saw this and were just like, holy smokes, this is insane. Um, and it was, and you know, no one's going to deny that, but I don't think it was as bad as, as some people think that it was. Like I saw one person was like, it was $300,000. Like, no, it absolutely was not. Like it was definitely not. I could 1 million percent guarantee that. Uh, though again, I'm sure player M had a very, very, very nice week as a result of this thing. So to gods and legends, hell of a battle guys it was a lot of fun facing you. Let's not do it again anytime soon. Uh, and I think the one thing it shows is, is like IPR just don't even bother when it comes to challenging them. You know what I mean? In a CVC, just don't bother because at the end of the day, 84 wins, I think that's the most, if I remember correctly, I think that's the most CVCs ever won. I don't think they've ever lost uh, a CVC if I remember if I'm remembering correctly, 84. Yeah, so rodents of unusual size is the next closest at 83. So truly the kings of CVC. So let that be a warning to anyone going forward. Just don't waste your resources. It's not worth it. Um, there you go. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope those of you who are watching the scores enjoyed watching it go up and also thinking like, what the hell are people doing? Um, and again, like, you know, hope that dispels a little bit of, of the, the questions around it. Cause keep in mind too, like you're talking the entire time this is going on and people are telling you like the leaders in IPR are telling you exactly what's going on, how we're tracking. Are you going to win? Are you not going to win? So we knew where we were at the entire time. Um, and it never was really super in doubt. Um, if I'm being completely honest, because I knew that we had a lot of quote unquote push resources, AKA books and stuff saved up from a lot of members hence why you do hit 19.5 million. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all soon. And uh, I hope to God your CVC never ends up uh, looking like this, uh, you know, like, like ours did ever again. So catch you later. Big Papa Drock out. Mm -hmm.